Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview. I'm very delighted today to have David Meltz with me. Hi, David. How are you doing? Amazing. Thank you. So David is the co-founder of Sports One Marketing and former ser served as the CEO of the renowned Lee Steinberg Sports and Entertainment Agency, which was the inspiration for the movie Jerry Maguire. Very great movie. And his life mission is to empower over 1 billion people to be happy. So David, why is that important for you to have that 1 billion people to be happy? Well, what I want to do is, is indicative of today is to create a collective consciousness of abundance, of a value add world, not a zero sum world, so that we have happiness, which encompasses making a lot of money, living in abundance, helping a lot of people, providing value and having fun. Today, anxiety, fear, worry, suicide are growing at an exponential rate. It's the number one rising cause of death in America in almost every demographic suicide. People are taking their own lives, let alone world peace is once again in question because of this scarce understanding of darkness. And for me, I have the power to teach people values and daily practices in order to effectuate how we can live in abundance, how we can be happy. And we all know one particle of light overcomes a million particles of darkness. So if I can power a thousand people like you or your listeners to empower another thousand, to empower another thousand, then we'll create a collective consciousness of happiness. And I also always enjoy your videos on, and also on every Friday on LinkedIn, you speak with so many great people and you give them so many great advices. So my first question for you is, I know that your industry was very much affected with the pandemic. It was all about sports, it's all about events. So what did you learn about yourself as a leader during this pandemic time? And what are you going to do differently? Are you, are, you, are you going to continue the same new skills that you learned during pandemic times? What I learned during the pandemic is what I do have control of. So many people were coming up to me saying, oh my God, oh, there's no, everything's uncertain. Everything's always uncertain. Yeah. Uh, the only people that like change are wet babies. So what I did is, I really learned about what I had control of. I took control of my mindset, my heart set, and my handset. And then I utilized the heart set, mindset, and handset to align with and find what's synergistic with what's doing well, despite the changes in uncertainty, what's going to be doing well, despite the changes in uncertainty, and of course, what's stable. And then when I made that alignment with the control of my mindset, heart set, and handset, I create less interference, less fear, anxiety. I was able and capable of identifying the ego-based consciousness of fear and just stopping and breathing yeah. and getting to center, to get to peace, to allow things to happen more rapidly and accurately. And I actually live in a world of more peace. And I learned how to give meaning through my mindset, heart set, and handset to everything that I see, to take advantage of these opportunities and nothing uh, is the same since the pandemic for me. I have so much more understanding of my own daily practices of what I want, who I can help, who can help me, how best to get that done with productive, accessible, and gracious living, how to prioritize by what's important to me with the what, the who, and the how, and most importantly, to live inspired, no matter what's happening outside of me, to find inside of me what I want outside of me by looking and controlling my mindset, my heart set and my handset. Those are great tips, David. I really enjoyed it. And in one of your uh, LinkedIn videos, you talked about four things that you have to ask every day. And I felt that that was very great. Can you repeat those, please? Yeah, so I uh, actually, my entire company is based off of these four things. One is gratitude, uh, which gives us perspective. We need to not only determine where the light, the love, and the lessons are, but if it's worth our time, our 1,440 minutes or 24 hours in order to find it, because we live in abundance. We live in a value-add world with more than enough of everything for everyone. So gratitude is the common denominator of happiness, no matter how sick, how well, how tall, how short, what religion you are, what color you are. It doesn't matter. If you are grateful, it is the common denominator to happiness. The second thing is empathy. Empathy gives us peace, forgiveness. Forgiveness, of course, is a reflection of the truth. Forgiveness allows us to live at peace, at ease, interfering or 
dis-ease uh, dissolves through forgiveness and, and empathy. The third thing is accountability. Accountability gives us control, control of our mindset, heart set, and hand set. Accountability allows us to ask, what did we do to attract this to ourselves? And more importantly, what are we supposed to learn from it? Life's about lessons. The lessons will keep on coming until we learn them. And then finally, fourth, of course, inspiration, which we talked of before, to identify the needs of the egos, to stop, drop, and roll, to live in the light, inspired, understanding motivation is a short-term way to get up, get back up, get started, get back started. It will devoid us of energy. It'll suck our soul. Inspiration, knowing there's something bigger than us that loves us more than our mom, that'll get you there. Those are great tips, David. I really enjoyed it. So for the audience watching or listening, if you have, I'm going to ask David a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So you'll be with us kind of a journey so you can like, share, put comments. So tune in tomorrow for another great question with David.